sine cosine tangent. The, this is the third tutorial that we're doing on Sokotoa and by the end of this tutorial you should be able to look at a tri any of the triangles on the uh, on the screen here and be able to find a side length. For instance in the top triangle by the end you should be able to find how large x is. And we're going to use that using sine cosine tangent. So before we get to that though, um, I just want to let you know that this um, video can be found at our website, mathwarehouse.com, under uh, slash Sokotoa2, where you'll find other goodies, many other practice problems, as well as a free worksheet with an answer key. All right, so before we attempt to solve the kind of problems I showed you at the beginning, I want to just do a little quick review of Sokotoa, and just so that you remember that sine um, is the ratio of the opposite over the hypotenuse, in any right triangle. So if we're looking at angle B, the sine is how big the opposite side is over the length of the hypotenuse. The cosine of B would be the length of the adjacent over the length of the hypotenuse, and tangent is the opposite over the adjacent. And just for, <clears throat> I put this picture down on the bottom right here to remind you that Sokotoa only applies to right triangles. So if you had something like triangle 2, we, we wouldn't be able to use Sokotoa, right? It's not a right triangle. However, if it is a right triangle, we can say that the, like in the bottom left here, or in triangle 1, we could say for the bottom left triangle that the sine of C is 6 over 10, the ratio of the opposite side to C over the hypotenuse. And the cosine of C would be the adjacent over the hypotenuse, or 8 over 10. All right, so we're going to use these ratios. Um, to find side lengths in questions like the one you see on the screen here. Okay, let's first off just number these. Let's call this problem one, this problem two, and this problem three. In problem one, we want to find the length of x. And let's look at what we know in this triangle. We know the measure of one angle we know it's a right triangle and we know the measure of one side and we want to find another side. Of course we could figure out the measure of the other angle here, but we already know enough to set up a ratio. The way that you find side lengths, like x in this one or um, you know any of them, like the, uh, let's call this, you know, let's say xy in this one, um, whether you're trying to find x here or x, the length of xy in the bottom, what you ask yourself is, which ratio involves the angle that I know, the side that I know, and the side that I want to know? We kn what side do we know? We know the, in this case, we know the hypotenuse, which is 5. We want to find the opposite, right, or x. And of course, we know the angle. So what you ask yourself is, which ratio involves the opposite and the hypotenuse? And that would be sine, right? So the ratio that we're dealing with here is sine. And in this case, we're talking about angle, the angle that's 53 degrees. And we know that the sine of 53 degrees equals the opposite over the hypotenuse. All right, so now it's just a question of using our calculator and cross-multiplying. Cross-multiply, so that we can say that x equals <coughs> excuse me, 5 times the sine of 53. Let me get my calculator out to do this real quick. And the calculator tells us that the answer is 3.99 if I round it. Okay, so we're going to use the same strategy to do the next two problems. And just a quick recap of what we did. We were given which one angle. And then we just identified what we know and what we want to find. And they were the hypotenuse and the opposites. And then determine the ratio that involves those two sides, the opposite and hypotenuse, and that was the sign. Okay, I separated the two triangles on the bottom of the prior page onto a new file so that we'd have a little more room to do our work. All right, let's find the length of xy in the triangle on the top and follow our normal process of identifying what we know, what we want to find, and from there, the ratio that gives us what we want to find. So what we know, we know the adjacent side, which has a length of 18. 
right? And what do we want to find? It what we want to find is the opposite side. Remember, everything's based off of the angle that we're working, which is, which is angle 47, and the side opposite that is x y, which we're trying to find. So, what we have to ask ourselves is what ratio involves adjacent and opposite, and that's tangent, right? So that's what we're going to set up. Our, our equation is that the tangent of 47, let me write that a little better, the tangent of 47, remember tangent equals, remember Sokotoa, tangent equals opposite over adjacent. Opposite or adjacent or tan of 47 equals xy over 18. So xy just equals, if we cross multiply, 18 times tan of 47. And if you punch that into your calculator, uh, 18 times tan of 47 gives you 19.3. So that is the length of xy. All right, and in our bottom triangle, we are going to try to find the value <coughs> of wy. Right? So we want to find the value of wy. So what do we know? Remember, we're, we everything is based off the angle that we're working with, which is 17. So what we know is 48, and that's the side that is adjacent to 17. Right? So we know the adjacent side. What do we want to find? wy. Right? wy is the hypotenuse because it is, uh, it's on the opposite side from the 90 degree angle. So what of the Sokotoa ratios involves adjacent and hypotenuse? Right, and that's cosine. So we're talking about cosine. So our ratio is the cosine of 17, remember cosine equals adjacent over hypotenuse, 48 over wy, so we're going to cross multiply, which lets us bring the wy to the top, which equals 18 over, bring the cosine 17 down. And when you punch that into your calculator, 48 divided by cosine of 17 rounds to 50.1. Okay, let's do one more problem. Let's find the length of x. And we'll call it a day then. Remember, just to do our little chart of what we know, what we want to find, and what ratio we can then use. We're dealing with a 53 degree angle, so what do we know? We know the adjacent side happens to be 36. We want to find the hypotenuse, x. Right, so the ratio that involves adjacent over hypotenuse is cosine. Right, so the cosine of 53 equals adjacent, or 36, over x. And again, bring the x up, cross multiply, bringing the cos 53 down, and you end up with x equals 36 over cosine of 53. And let me get out my calculator. If we round this to the nearest hundredth, we get 59.82. Okay, so that's really all there is to it. Whenever you're trying to find the length of a side, you, you know, your options are either Sokotoa, like we used, or the Pythagorean Theorem. However, we can't use the Pythagorean Theorem here, you, because the Pythagorean Theorem would say that a squared plus b squared equals c squared, and the only thing that we know is a squared. Right? We have one equation, it's a b. We have one equation and two unknowns that can't be solved. If we had two side lengths, you'd be able to use the Pythagorean Theorem. But since you only know one side length, your only option is Sokotoa. And we could only do that because we knew it knew one of these uh, angles. We, we, could, we would have to know something more than the right angle. Okay, that's it for how you use Sokotoa to find side lengths. Feel free to visit our website, mathawarehouse.com slash Sokotoa, to get some other goodies, extra practice problems, and that worksheet with an answer key. Thanks.